Good morning. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Well, I don't know whether it's out of their sheer desperation, but <laughs> look at this baby. I'm going to be rolling, packing today. <laughs> Let's see how this baby drives. No cup holder anywhere. I wonder what, what, what do you do when you have no cup holder? Maybe this isn't the casual ride I'm thinking it's gonna be. Time to get the party started. A much more productive day today than we had last week. Uh, we did still get a little bit of a shower while I was milking and I mean I don't know a whole lot about gravel but Nick said that packing it after it got that little bit of a shower actually will pack it very tight. So we've got a little bit of the end of the driveway to tidy up just because trucks are getting a little too tight to the edge. We're gonna tidy that up, we're gonna pack some more, and then we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Another day, <laughs> a lot more dollars. Um, we did get, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, an inch of rain again last night, which means the driveway, particularly where they keep driving off the driveway um yeah she's a bit much but fortunately back where the bunker is going is actually in pretty good shape that whole driveway and all of it is actually going fairly well <laughs>
we definitely went through more gravel than I budgeted for. Partly because this driveway down to the bunker is much larger than I figured it would be, but at least we got all the gravel trucks down. At least we got everything filled in with what it needs. So, and the nice thing is I <laughs> gotta hand it to Nick. He did one heck of a job packing and finishing up the a gravel on top of everything and it looks pretty nice and ready to actually pour some concrete so i don't know maybe in another week we have a bunker we'll have to see well you can't get a much nicer night to have a look at the garden and this is we've been talking about what's your food story this is the food story i wanted to share this time around because it's actually something I get quite a bit of entertainment from. I never used to like doing it, um, but I don't know. Then all of a sudden you kind of have one successful crop of something and you think, oh, I could maybe do that again. Now, in many cases, you are <laughs> corrected and humbled is probably the right word. You're humbled very easily sometimes with these crops, but um, this is what we've got. So this is my second year growing cauliflower. And it's also the second year I don't seem to have any heads. I have never, ever, usually I would plant three or four tomato plants. And if I was lucky, I might keep one alive. This year, they all kept alive, including a couple of cherry tomato plants. Worms in my tomatoes. I did do peppers last year. Peppers were my success last year. I only have a couple this year because I got too carried away. So the jalapenos are there. We've got some chili peppers here. Let's have a look. And so that's our food story for this month is working away at the garden and just kind of the entertainment of it. I mean, we're farmers, we grow lots of other kinds of food, but it's not tomatoes, it's not peppers, it's not cauliflower, clearly, because I would make a terrible cauliflower farmer apparently. Um, but it is, it's a fun activity for us to get to know how to do this, the challenges that come with growing different crops, how some years you might get really good ones and other years you might not. So that's our food story. What's your food story? Have you signed up? Have you made a video? Have you entered the contest? If you haven't, you should head to whatsyourfoodstory.ca because those prizes are pretty good. You'll want to do that soon.